Right, time to ring the Steg. See how he's getting on. We'd given him a phone, but, uh. Well, that is where our genius really comes into play because, well, here comes the Stig now with a patient who has been literally bored into a coma by one of the meetings they have in here. Yes, and as you can see, he simply has to clip the stretcher onto the back of the P45 and he's ready to go. Yeah. Sometimes I think our genius is tangible. It's like, it's like it has a mass. Yeah, it's like another presence. It's still there when we've gone. Yeah, I mean, we've solved many things over the years, but I think that is our finest hour, it really yeah, is. I think I mean, it's up there with the best of work. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. I think we need to call for an ambulance. That's a good idea. Okay, I'll do it. Do you know what the number is? Nine. Does this car belong to you, sir? Can I ask where you're going to? Can I ask where you've come from? He was three miles away ten minutes ago. Is the car stolen, sir? I would have thought, even with traffic or trouble getting in. The Steg reserved the right to remain silent. He's OK, he's not back. No, he's... Oh, he's... Oh, he's... Surprised. That's Hello and welcome to the eleventh Top Gear special, which for once is actually being transmitted quite close to the birthday of Baby Jesus. Unless you're watching a repeat. Yes, James, unless you're watching a repeat. Well, it's quite confusing. Anyway. And for that, we need our tame racing driver. Some say that as we speak, he is actually relaxing in the resort's pool. And he is. He is, actually. He is. We dragged him out of the pool and plonked him into his holiday hire car. Who is it? It's the Porsche! The Porsche's won it! The Stig was very happy, knowing that I now had to kiss his helmet. On the underground, Stig had noticed that many of his fellow passengers were holding on to strange things. And so, at the next station, he decided he should have one too. Stig, meanwhile, had finished with his tram and was now heading for the underground station.
Michael Schumacher has stormed to the honor, but he's off now. That's not good. He's obviously not used to a manual. Oh no, here we go, first corner. Okay, let's have a look at their, oh no, that's not the right line. No, that's badly wrong, but he's made it round. He's made it round. Look at the way he holds that rear end there as he heads now down towards Chicago. Wide again. He's not going to make it. He's going off. He's going off. Oh no! He got a catch. He missed the cameraman. No, that's okay. It's okay. He smashed the windscreen. Follow through. Is he flat out? No, I don't think he is. Coming up to the tyres. He's going the wrong way. He's going the wrong way, man. Here he is, final corner. Michael Schumacher is lost, everybody! Did you go into fifth gear? You went into fifth, didn't you? Thundering down now, 130 miles an hour, he's lost the back, he's, he's lost it! He's off! Oh my God! Oh my God, that's a big one. That's the first time the Stig's ever, ever been off this track. Here it is again in slow motion. You can see the back steps out, no downforce. He corrects it, but there just isn't enough track. And that's a big tire wall he's been through there. God, that is a big accident. Settled, Jeremy went to the airport to pick up a special delivery. So now we could settle this properly with some against the clock testing. Happily, though, I'd come up with a plan. Do you know what I mean? Clever, very clever. Yes, Dustin. It's James. Yeah, it's James, he's coming for the race. He so always dresses like this. So. He, he lost always... 30 kilos in five minutes. Yeah, he always dresses like this when he drives a racing. James, best of luck, mate. James, good luck, mate. And his hair. Best of oh, luck. Good luck. Hair. Mate, mate. Yeah, he's lost it. He's he he has a hair. Don't disturb him when he's focused and in the zone, ready for a race. He's ice cool. Well, this could work. Anyway, this isn't just a race between a car and a bike, because we need to see how public transport will fare. So we need a third person, someone who's never been on a train or a bus, someone who doesn't know the misery. Thankfully, on Top Gear, we have just such a person. Now, as we race across London in the car and on the bike, he will catch a bus around the corner. There he will get an underground train to Monument Station, and from there, he will get on the Docklands Light Railway, which takes him all the way to the airport. So, are we ready? Yes. Ready? The Stig, in a close second, was now making his final train change. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your belongings with you at all times. And report any unattended items or suspicious behaviour to a member of staff or a police officer. Amazingly, the Stig went faster at night than he had in the day and put us an astonishing 40-second on the grid. Yeah! That's great! Yeah! Don't, don't, don't touch him! By this stage, Stig had found a metro station. And in this weird, subterranean world, he was distracted by many wondrous things. Yes, now every year the Scouts make a series of awards, uh, which are relevant to them. 
Uh, I've got the list here. They're very prestigious. Uh, they've just announced this year's winners. Previous winners have included Charlie Borman and Ewan McGregor. They won Best Navigation Award. Jamie Oliver won the Healthy Eating Award. Yeah, now Ray Mears, it has to be said, has not won the award for services of wearing shorts when you're a grown man. <laughs> However, their award this year for services to instruction has gone to the steg. Yeah. yeah. However, there's a problem, a really big problem. They came down earlier uh, to, to give him his badge and he attacked them. <laughs> We've actually got some footage of it here, seriously. Look. <laughs> Look, he's trying to stamp on his badge, he hates it. And they took him down. They actually took the stick down, two scouts. <laughs> Awkward, that. It, it turns out he's terrified of scouts. Yeah, we think um, he might have been a girl guide. <laughs>actually measured this out a bit you've got to go 18 feet to get the tablecloth off the table yep. plus the length of that bit off the end yes plus you've got to account yes. for the amount of, of rope and you've got to stop before you hit the other side of the studio no i haven't yeah i, have. I haven't because i'm not going to drive it he is <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the stig has come among us oh, very rarely in the studio oh, hold on very a minute rarely. hold on a minute yes what so you're saying He's going to drive across our darkened studio, peering through his darkened visor. Yes. Is this how this stig dies? <laughs> <laughs> Has he done a book? No, he hasn't. Right. All right. <laughs> right, is he ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Everybody here ready? Yeah! Oh, God. We have no idea how this is going to work out. But I have hope in my heart. In three, two, one, go! From the massive Murcielago to the agile aerial raptor, we have them all. We even have a keeper capable of taming them. The Top Gear test track, it's Jurassic Park. So we're going to make it a bit easier with a game of Top Trumps. Here's my opponent, the Stig. It's just like normal Top Trumps, except all of Stiggy's cards are the BMW and all of mine are the Mercedes. Ready? OK, TV screens. Mercedes has TV in the front. BMW, I know the answer to this. It's got two, isn't it? Front and rear. So you win that pair. Climate control. Mercedes two zone and the BMW we know has got four zone climate control so you win that pair it's not difficult right seat massage system Mercedes front and rear seat massage and the BMW massage seat only in the front so I win that pair right BHP got some of the letters here, lots of them. Let me just read you this one, OK? It says, Dear Top Gear, the only reason why Mr so-called Clarkson was killed is because he wasn't driving it properly. I bet if the Stig drove it, he'd be fine. <laughs> Tell you what, let's find out. 
Now, I bet you he rolls that over. Now, this is a stick. The only thing that's ever defeated him was that Koenig jet. Yeah, just, he so will not be able to do a lap in no. that car without rolling over. He I shall guarantee it. He'll use his special Here he is, powers. coming up to the first corner now. There you go. Absolutely, Absolutely fine. fine. And so, he's amazing. Oh, no, he hasn't. <laughs> In the end, there really could be only one winner. You may remember the steam train race we had earlier on in the year. Well, four minutes before the train was due to leave. That's four minutes before the race was due to begin. We were presented with the Jaguar XK, with the keys in the ignition, engine running, and the doors locked. <laughs> so the golden cock has to go to that man who was trusted to deliver that priceless car on that crucial day and left it with us in that condition. And that man was... The Stig! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! The Golden Cop! Yeah! Oh, it's great! He's touched! He's touched, I can tell! I should point out, Stig, that is a rolling award. We have to... Have it back now to give it to next year's winner. So if I can have a... Yeah! <laughs> no, you have to, stick, no, you have have to give, give it back. Give so it's, stick, it's in our stick, trophy give me, cabinet. Give me the golden cock. Just, stick, give me the gold. Give, oh, give, give me the Give me the gold. Give me the gold. I need the stick. I need the... Give me the gold. <laughs> no, not that. I need the golden cock. Stick, give me the cock. You've lost <laughs> both cocks. <laughs> have you got his <laughs> cock? Some of it. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing. joking. Is that all we have left of oh, the gold? it's weird. He fights like a choir boy, but you can hear his jaws just slapping shut in his helmet all the time. It's terrifying. <laughs> I've got some of it back, anyway. Uh, well, well done, Hammond. Uh, anyway, that was the golden cock. He's ready. And he's off. There we go. Now he's got to get to 100 and then stop again. Here we go. That was not supposed to happen. And that is unquestionably the end of our Jaguar. But, but what about the Stig? That is all that was there. The Navy divers went down, but they couldn't find anything. The United oh. The Stig, now in an underground car, had noticed that everyone was doing the same thing. He's, do you know he's asleep? Right, he's, he's actually asleep. He, he sleeps it off. He doesn't look asleep. No, he's very tired. Off. Very he's tired. Very tired. Very tired. Very tired. Yeah. Unbelievable. Nigel. 30. With just two corners to go, he made his move. I don't want to see. I can hear them. I can hear them both. Which car would appear first? Which one? Because of my problem with manual labour, I went off to collect the Stig. So this is the start, yeah? Careful. So this one goes... Now, James, just do them when I'm getting the... No! That's... What the bloody hell? Oops. Ah! He's here! The stick's here. Is he all right? Meanwhile, down in Oxford, the Stig was revealing something new about himself. <laughs> he has 
a bladder. Hey, Stig. How would you describe your speed? Lightning or breakneck? Lightning, then. Look at that. This, I think, is an object lesson for caravanners. There's no need to dawdle. You really can get your foot down. The wheel! No! It's come off! <laughs> <laughs> Are he still going? No, he is. Move back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming in a shower of sparks towards the line. And across the line. They want to see. It's coming! Is it Susan Boyle? Is it Susan Boyle? 